Open the package. These are world parts. The two wooden bars. The four aluminum rods with plastic caps act as legs. And these two rods without caps are used to make a frame by inserting into the wooden bars. Just insert. Now a four-sided frame is made. What should be noted is that the six metal parts should be placed upwards. This is a bundle of fishing line. Pull out one end of the line and insert it into the hole in the nail on the wooden bar. Then tie the line. You have to tie for several times and pull hard. To make sure it is very firm and won't be loose. This is very important. Now just drag it to another side. Cut it in this position approximately. And tie the fishing line to the threaded bolt. The bolt is to be screwed into the metal seat. When you are tying the line, try to pull straight to check and adjust the length. The best situation is that when you pull the line extremely, the bolt is just able to touch the metal seat but not overlapped. As you can see, when I pull the line is a bit long, now move to the other end. We can wind the fishing line around the nail to shorten the length or unwind it to increase the length. It can be adjusted flexibly. Here I winded two turns, then pull it to another side, pull hard to make the bolt touch the seat, and then screw it in. Screw, screw. Until the bolt penetrates the side hole of the seat a certain distance, to make sure that the bolt is fully screwed in and will never fall off while in use. If it falls off, it might hit user's eyes. That is dangerous. Next, the second fishing line. Now I will show another better method to tie the boat or to make the length more suitable. Here, when we tie the line to the boat, it's hard to control the length because the fishing line is so slippery. I will try another way. Firstly, just screw the bolt a bit into the seat, like this, making it not fall. Then the two hands are free to be able to focus on the fishing line, so it is easy to tie with the two hands. Pull the line tightly and then tie a knot. Again, a few more hard knots. Okay, drag it hard, it's also too long, it doesn't matter. Also turn to the other side, make a few turns of the line to shorten it. Then pull it hard, I have to pull very hard to make the bolt touch the seat. This is in the best state. Screw it in, screw it immediately, the fishing line will be tensioned really extremely. The third line, same as above, there are totally three fishing lines to be installed. The final shape, very firm. Lastly, install the four legs. These are four thumb screws and some rubber cushions. Here we only need four cushions. The extra cushion are for replacing while maintaining in the future, so keep them well. Just insert a leg into the hole and another leg into the other hole. Get a cushion and insert it into the small hole. This step is very important, don't forget the cushion. Make the surface of the cushion parallel to the wooden surface 
Press the cushion into the hole a bit. Note that don't make the cushion skew. Then screw the thumb screw in. Each thumb screw needs one cushion. The cushion is pressed against the surface of the aluminum leg to prevent the surface being scratched. When you disassemble the stand in the future, you don't need to remove the cushion. The cushion will be stuck firmly in the hole. Okay, now the stand is completed. Very firm. The leg can be slid in the hole to adjust the position. Once being screwed tightly, the leg is locked there. It could basically be used, but there still exists one big problem. You see, the book may fall off while in use, thus hitting a person's eyes. That is dangerous. So a safety line must be installed here like this. Firstly, wind a few turns here around the tube. Tie firmly. Tie. Pull to another side. Pull hard to straight. Wind a few turns again and then tie. Tie, tie it firmly. Well, cut the end. Okay, put the book on again. Cut this. Shake it just to see what will happen. Oh, the book falls but be caught by the safety line. The safety line is just stuck in the crack of the book, preventing the book from sliding in any direction. Oh no! Oh no, the line is not tied firmly, so it's a failed demonstration. Keep it in mind here. Make sure the line is tied very firmly. You must tie it again and again. Pull it hard in every time. Pull hard. Then put it again to test. This. Now it's okay, it doesn't fall. How to turn the page? Lie down, stretch hands out, and turn the page directly. Very smooth and simple. If you have bought a version with mobile phone clip, you will also get this stuff. Combine these two rods, unscrew the big nut, insert the ball into the seat. Like this, using the two rods is enough. This rod is for replacing when maintaining. No need to install now. If you really want to use all three rods, it will become too long and loose. This is the phone clip. Insert it here. Screw it. Screw. Okay. Put the mobile phone. Just pinch the clip to open it. Put the mobile phone in. It's easy to open the clip with one hand. These are cushions, a screw and a screwdriver. Screw the bracket onto the frame. Put the rubber cushion on the hole. At this end of the bracket, there is also a hole. The bracket will be rotatable around the hole. Put the metal cushion on this side, then screw it. Until screw it tightly, and then install a cover. Just by pressing it hard, rotatable and retractable. Lastly, a LED lamp. It's another payable optional accessory. Just 
clip on the wooden bar. It fits perfectly. Three levels of brightness could be adjusted by touching the surface. The lamp is rechargeable with your mobile phone charger. The final view.